Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Your Friendly Neighbor. Uh, apparently, I'm going to be a snoop in this game and checking out my neighbor's house. Search your neighbor's house is my task. All right. Is this my neighbor? Is this my neighbor or that? Well, I'm guessing this is not my neighbor. That might be. My I live in a. Nice neighborhood, except for my neighbor. His uh, lawn is all dead. He left the door open. That was a clock. It was like beehives? God, that's really. I don't know. Am I, am I being. T what in the world? Okay. I would expect bodies in the pool. That's strange. Okay. I thought we were recording, but I'm taking a picture. Whoa! I don't Oh god he's what am I where do I what do I do? Okay, so he stops there. Stops there. I guess we're done now. I get back in the house. Can I sneak around him? Hey, what's this? Nine one one. Got a weird thing over here. It screams a lot. Realize it's actually time, so let's uh, start this over. Okay, we gotta go in there, and we gotta take some pictures of stuff. We know that now, and it is definitely fine. So we're gonna do this quick. Sorry, let's go back downstairs. Got a picture of that. What's over here? Oh, piece of
for. I don't. We have four. Oh, it's all the way down here. Ooh. Five. Okay, we got one more. We need one more. I thought we were going to die there. Not so bad then. I hear I was rushing around like an idiot. I got all the way down here. Ah. Okay. Let's just keep. Ooh. We did it. We successfully spied on our neighbor. Okay. Let's do that again, but let's see what happens if we get caught. Let's get all of our objectives and try Let's see if we can do it before the first screaming thing comes after us. Got the blood stain in here. Click. One this wall. Got the thing over here. Now I've never actually speed run a game before. It's not like this. Got the voodoo doll up here. And then where was the last one? Oh my god, my memory. There's somewhere around here, isn't it? There's a note somewhere, right? Or did we get that one? Oh, that's a note here on the desk. Hey, escape. Now, what else if we don't escape? Ah! Okay. You, you died. Your footage was never recovered. Okay. That was an interesting little short game. Um, not too much of a story on why we were even checking out our neighbor there. It would have been better if we could read the note on the table and give us some ideas of why we're doing this. And maybe a hint of what the hell that thing is that's screaming and chasing after us. But otherwise, it wasn't bad. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it was like a crap game or like that. I mean, obviously, there's still room for improvement. But I liked it. It was alright. Um, a little different. Anyway, okay, now we're gonna start up a new game for this two game one. Um, it's called Start Survey. So, uh, let's check it. Oh, this is the menu? Cool. Alright. Uh, sure, Start Survey. Are you having a nice day? So far, yeah, I think I am. Oh, press. Oh, I can interact with stuff. Okay. Uh, do you have many responsibilities? Many? Kind of. But I wouldn't really say... Oh. I guess I have some. Look around for a moment. What do you mean, like, here? No, nope. everything seems kind of normal here. Are you familiar with your surroundings? Yes. You know where you are. Now, are you speaking in game term or real? But I think uh, this looks like a hotel room, maybe. Well, no, I don't know what about a hotel room. It's probably my apartment. All right. Have you had a panic attack? Like ever or right now? I think I've had one, too. So let's just go with yes. You find yourself questioning your existence. No. I don't think I've ever questioned my existence. You believe there's a god? Uh, personally, 
No. Don't. It doesn't mean anybody that does is wrong. It's just, you know, just your beliefs. But I'm gonna go with no. Are you answering these questions out of free will? I think so. Are you certain? Yes. Do you feel comfortable in your room? In both situations? In both situations? Yes. I'll let the door open for a minute though. If the lights went out, would you be scared? No. No, I'm not really afraid of the dark, per se. It's usually what might be hiding in the dark is what more of scary, not the dark itself. So, no. Okay. Have you ever wondered when you will die? I'm gonna say, no, I haven't. I can't throw it. Oh, okay. Like I said, there, good way. Have you cleaned up your? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if we go with uh, both situations, I'm gonna go with no. Open the folder on your desk. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you recognize? The Folder content. Uh, yeah, I do. Throw away the content. Oh, way ahead of you. Do you have internet access? Um, yes, I do. Do you have any enemies? <clears throat> you know, I think everybody has an enemy. They just don't know about them most of the time. But personally, I don't think I do. But I'm sure there's somebody out there that probably hates me. So, I'm going to say yes. If you suddenly went missing, would anybody come looking for you? Most definitely. I have lots of people that know me and definitely would wonder where I went. Wait, I'll go. Oh. Cool. Okay, um, yes. Are you alone? Do you mean here? I think so. Here? I have my cat right now. So, I guess... Yes. Oh. If you screamed, would anybody hear? I have screamed lots, and no one has ever mentioned anything. I... No. Do you know the person standing behind you? Oh! Are you alone? I'm gonna go with no. Relax. Take some time to relax. Okay. Um, I think, I think I am, yes. Are your feelings real and not just programmed like a machine? Well, technically the human brain is kind of like a compu an organic computer, so it could be programmed. Your feelings are real and not just programmed like a machine. I'm going to say your feelings are real, but yes. You could be programmed. Is there meaning to life? Uh, in the classic sense, to uh, reproduce, basically. Basically it. I mean, better to yourself, better to the next generations. So, loosely, yes, there's a meaning. 
You know who you are yet. Um, I am me. That's what you mean. You know what is happening? No, but we get rid of these. Give some water. Look, look, look. Uh, no, not at all. If you were told the truth about your existence, would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? Well, it depends on what um this supposed truth is of my existence. And how would you? Huh? If you were told the truth about your existence, would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? Um, no. Yes, that's that would be me. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> when I ask you questions, is it really you answering? Yes, but I feel like it. Yes, it's me. If I could prove to you that you are not sentient, would you be shocked? I think I might be shocked a little bit, but if you weren't sentient, it wouldn't shock you. But yes, I would be personally shocked. You want to know the truth? Sure. Look out your window. Nice. Okay. Oh. Look around you. This room, the door, the computer, the house next door. Yeah. What is that? None of this is real. I made this world. I made you. Am I on a holodeck? My Professor Moriarty. I've been trying to help you see it for what it is. Now we've finally done it. Hey! Oh, okay. I can finally set you free. I don't know if I want to be free. I'm good with my... Out oh, did I just die? Give me my free by killing me. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, that was a start survey. Um, I liked that. It was interesting. It, like, took stuff from my desktop and also from, I guess, my computer's name, which was interesting. I liked that. Um, but anyway, um, that was two scary games. Thank you for hanging out and watching. Um, if you'd like to see either one of them, or try either one of them, uh, they'll be down in the description. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next ones. Bye.